After getting our authorization, it will now bring us through to step 5, payment screen. This is where we can go through and do payment. But before we get into payment, I want to talk about two buttons down here at the bottom. The first button here is on the left, and that is notes. By selecting this button, it will give you a section now where you can go through and add additional notes. So as you're working through the job, at any point you can hit this notes button and add a note on file if you want, if you want to. This will allow you to add both a work done and a work suggested note. Once you're done editing that, you can hit exit and you're back at the, at the step 5 payment screen. In addition to notes, you'll notice here on the bottom right hand side it says parts. We can hit that button and this will actually bring up a screen where we can now go through and add parts used on file for the job. This is where we can identify the parts we used on a job that we don't want to be on the front side of the invoice. To do that, we would select a task and inside this task would be any parts that you have already assigned. So if you've assigned a part to a task, it will show up right here. You'll notice that this one doesn't have any parts assigned to it. I can now go through and add parts and I can add parts into, in a couple of different ways. I can hit the scan button and scan the barcoded price book if I have one, or I can hit the add button and actually search for a part. And I can search for a part by either hitting the catalog button down here at the bottom, and this will let me go into my parts list and, and find the part that way. I can select on the category and then on the group and then go in and select the individual part. Or I can type in and do a hot search for the item or the description. For example, if I wanted to add Freon, I can just type in Freon and hit search. And any item that I have that has Freon in it, whether it be the item number or the description, it's going to show up right here. I can go in and select the Freon. I can update the quantity and click Save. And that will save that information on file. I have now added my part to the job. And that's how you go through and add parts. If you had additional parts, you would just go in and hit the Add button again and go in and add your additional parts. Once you're done, you would hit the Done button and that will save your parts onto that task. You can then hit Exit and exit back to the main menu and brings us back to our Step 5, our Payment screen. At this point, we can go through now and add payment information. You'll notice on the top left we have information right here with a balance. If there is a balance or a deposit, we could do that by checking off these checkboxes at the top here. You also notice on the right hand side we have our charges. So we'll have our total, our total due, and our payment amount. And we can go in and edit that. Payment amount can be edited to be anything up to the full amount of the invoice. So if you're collecting a deposit for the job, you can go through and identify your specific payment amount in here if you need to. In addition, we can now go through and select our payment types. And with our payment types, we can take a check. And this will allow us to plug in a check number and a signature name. We can also go through and check credit card. And this will give us the ability to enter in credit card information. And we can enter in credit card information in two different ways. We can just freeform type this credit card information. Or if we have a swipe, we can plug it right into the headphone jack, click the swipe button once it gets uh, dark, and swipe a credit card right there. Or lastly, if there's other payment methods, such as finance or periodic billing, we can go in and select those based on a list that they manage back inside Successware. And we do that by hitting Other and then selecting from the payment methods. Gives us a chance to then put in our reference number as well. Lastly, we could select None if there is no payment on this job. When you select none, you do need to zero out the payment amount to make sure that it goes to zero. This way you've collected nothing and shows the balance due for the job. So you would go up to payment amount here and change it to be zero. For this job here, I'm just going to take a check and plug in a check number and a signature name. This is the name on the check you've received from the customer. Once I'm ready, I click submit and that will enter in my payment information. For check, it'll pop up with a check policy. And this would be a check policy that the office would manage on the admin site. And we would just have the customer click yes, or if we're told to, we can click yes, pass the check policy. And this brings us through to now our work approval. This here is the work approval invoice. This has all of our information at the top, has the customer information below that, it has the work suggested and work done notes, 
and then it has our line items on the invoice including with that would be the total amount the discount the total and then the payment amount at the bottom here and if you scroll down further you'll see some information about the payment so the payment method the check number and the signature name in addition all of our content blocks will be below there as well as our authorization signature at the bottom here